32 X X X I I. That way he went with no will of his own, in danger of life to the dragon's horde, but for pressure of peril, some prince's thane, he fled in fear the fatal scourge, seeking shelter a sinful man, and entered in. At the awful sight, tottered that guest, and terror seized him, yet the wretched fugitive railed anon. From fright and fear, ere he fled away, and took the cup from the treasure hoard, of such besides, there was store enough, ere looms old the earth below, which some earl forgotten in ancient years, left of the last of his lofty race, heedfully there had hidden away dearest treasure, for death of yore had hurried all hence, and he alone left to live the last of the clan, weeping his friends, yet wished to bide, warding the treasure his own delight, though brief his respite, the barrow new ready, the strand and sea waves stood anear, hard by the headland, hidden and closed, there laid within his lordly heirlooms, and heaped a hoard of heavy gold, that warden of rings, few words he spake.